Hello students, now in today lecture we will discuss phrenolytic adsorption isotherm. Then question will arise, what is meant by adsorption isotherm? Then when we draw the graph of x by m versus p, then we are getting one curve at a constant temperature. Then such a curve is known as a or relation between magnitude of adsorption and pressure is known as a adsorption isotherm. So here, what is meant by x by m? Then x by m is nothing but a, it is known as a magnitude of adsorptions. So once again x by m is nothing but a magnitude of adsorption. Achha, this equation mein x or m kya hai? Then we can say that here x is nothing but, we can write it here, x is nothing but weight in gram of adsorbed. Yani jo solid hai, suppose I have taken one solid, then this solid is known as a adsorbed, but aap chante ho, the solid on which adsorption occur is known as adsorbed. Now, the molecule which adsorb on its surface, then this molecule is known as a adsorbed. Bed. Up, the weight in gram of adsorbed, the weight in gram of adsorbed is known as a x, while weight in gram of adsorbent is known as a m, or uska ratio x by m is known as a magnitude of adsorption. So when at a constant temperature, when we draw the graph of magnitude of adsorption yani kitna adsorption molecule ka hua versus pressure at a constant temperature then we are getting a different type of curve and such a curve is known as adsorption isotherms now there are five different type of adsorption isotherms out of this today we have to discuss frundelich adsorption isotherm then scientists know as a frundelich he has a given a relation between pressure and magnitude of adsorption at a constant temperature and this relation or equation is known as Frundelich adsorption isotherm. This equation is x by m equal to k into p raised to 1 upon n. Now in this equation is known as a Frundelich adsorption isotherm where value of n will be always greater than 1. So here K and N, we can write it here, K and N are constant, here K as well as N are constant. And the value of this constant is depending upon nature of adsorbed. Second thing, P is here, pressure, X by M is magnitude of adsorptions, K and N are constant, then this relation is considered or known as a Frundelich adsorption isotherm. Our pata karna hai ki kisi bhi system ko ye Frundelich adsorption isotherm is applicable or not then we have to take logarithm in both side of this equation suppose I am giving equation as a 1 so now take log take log in both side of equation 1 equation 1 ki dono side mein mein log leta ho then I will get equation in this way log x by m equal to log k plus 1 upon n into log p. Ye hama equation milega. Ab yes equations ko dhyan se dekhe. That is just like a y equal to mx plus c. To ye ho gaya hama ra c aur ye hoa m and x. To jo log x by m hai is nothing but a y. Log p is nothing but a x. To ye di hum graph draw karte hai log x by m versus log p. Or a straight line graph mile then this Frundelich adsorption is applicable to that system. So when we draw the graph of log x by m versus log p, then we will get one type of straight line. If you have a straight line graph mila, then once again it is applicable to that system. Now, when I will draw or when I will extra plotting this, then it will cut to y axis and we get an intercept. So the intercept of this, we will get value of constant k. So intercept giving us value of log k. Now, if we take a slope of this straight line graph, then slope is giving us 
value of constant it is 1 upon n. So when we draw the graph of log x by m versus log p then we are getting a straight line graph and intercept of this we are getting log k and slope of this we are getting 1 upon n. So by using this we can get the value of constant k as well as n. If we are getting straight line graph then this adsorption isotherm is applicable. Now this equation having a certain limitations. Let us discuss. Now limitation of Frundlich adsorption isotherm. It is observed that this formula Frundlich adsorption isotherm is totally empirical. It has no any theoretical background. So first limitation it is totally empirical. It is based on assumption, it has no any theoretical backgrounds. So it is not based on, we can write it is not based on any theoretical concept. So it is totally one type of empirical things. Second most important thing, here constant or value of constant k and n. We can say that value of k and n change with a temperature. If the temperature change hoga, then value of constant k as well as n will change. And the most important thing, this equation is applicable within certain range of pressure. So, or it may particularly at high pressure deviation is observed. We can say that this equation is applicable within the certain range of pressures. At high pressure, suppose uh, 1 upon n will be 1. If value of 1 upon n will be 1, then we get this type of graph that log x by n equal to k into p raised to 1. Any x by m directly proportional to pressure means at a low pressure. Magnitude of adsorption is directly proportional to pressure. But when we can write these things that 1 upon n equal to 0. When 1 upon n equal to 0 means at a very very high pressure. x by m become k into p raised to 0 or we can say that x by m equal to k into 1 means it will be independent from the pressures so at particularly at a high pressure this equation shows a deviations so Frundlich adsorption isotherm is not applicable at a very very high pressure it is applicable within the certain range of pressures after saturations why this equation is not applicable is not possible to understand. So, new concept came in exist. So it will discuss in a next lecture.